Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope you're ready for some vintage non-sports cards. I put together a top 10 list here of non-sports vintage cards that sold on eBay in the last week. It's a pretty awesome list, but make sure you stay tuned to the end as well, because I got some great bonus cards that you don't want to miss. Well, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, getting us started in the 10th spot from 1962 Topps Mars Attacks. We have Destroying a Dog. Well, that's not very nice. Graded in Near Mint Mint PSA 8. And it sold at auction for $910.87. That's a pop of 58 in a PSA 8 slab. There's only 8 graded higher, with the highest being 3 Mint 9s. In the number 9 spot from 1977 Star Wars, we have Luke Skywalker graded near Mint Mint PSA 8. This car sold at auction for $961. It's a pop of 250 in the PSA 8 slab, and there's 115 graded higher, with the highest being only 9 Gem Mint 10s. In the number 8 spot from 1905, we have HD2 US Presidents. This is a Lear High Grade Pianos. We got Presidents Lincoln, Roosevelt, Washington, and Jefferson graded the VGPSA 3. And it was a fixed price sale for $1,000. It's a pop of 1 in a PSA 3 slab. And there's only one graded higher, and that's a PSA 5. In the number 7 spot from 1985 Tops Garbage Pail Kids. We have Virus Iris Glossy Sticker Graded Gem in PSA 10. The sticker sold at auction for $1,076.18. And a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 10. And the number 6 spot from 1966 Batman, we have The Riddler Graded Mint PSA 9. This car sold at auction for $1,119.11. It's a pop of 39 in a mint slab, and there's only 7 higher graded gem mint 10s. From 1962 Mars Attacks, we have Beast and the Beauty, graded near mint mint PSA 8. This car sold at auction for $1,324. In a PSA 8 slab, it's a pop of 40. There's only 5 graded higher, with the highest being 3 mint 9s. In the number 4 spot from 1985 Topps Garbage Pail Kids, we have the Potty Scotty sticker graded gem in PSA 10. The sticker sold at auction for $1,327. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 26. Alright, time to see what we have in the top 3 this week. But before we do, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies... Check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 and save 10% on your order. In the number 3 spot from 1996 Marvel Masterpieces, we have Venom graded a gem in BGS 9.5 and sold at auction for $1,568.46. In a gem in BGS slab, it's a pop of 2 and there are none graded higher, but check out these subgrades. You have two 10 subgrades for centering and surface, and 9.5 for corners and edges. It's 0.5 away from a pristine 10. That's probably one of the nicest copies out there. Wow. In the number two spot from 1985 Tops Garbage Pail Kids, we have the Nasty Nick sticker graded in mint PSA 9 and sold at auction for $1,826. It's a pop of 99 in a mint slab, and there are 22 higher graded gem in 10s. And topping the list this week in the number one spot from 1996 Marvel Masterpieces, we have Carnage graded a gem in BGS 9.5. This car sold at auction for $1,838.04. It is a pop 3 in a gem mint slab, and there are none graded higher. And like that uh, Venom one, check out the subgrades of this. Same thing, 10s for centering and surface, and 9.5s for corners and edges. It is 0.5 away from a pristine 10 copy. Wow. All right, that's it for the top 10. Let me know in the comments below which one of these would you add to your PC. I think for me, I'd go with those uh, two Marvel Masterpieces that are 0.5 away from a pristine grade. 10s for centering and surface. Those are pretty sharp looking cards. Pretty awesome looking artwork as well. Let me know what your choice is in the comments below, and while you're at it, please hit that like button. 
All right, time for some bonus cards. First up from 1992 Star Picks. We have a Saturday Night Live Chippendales. Chris Farley graded a gem in PSA 10. And that was a fixed price sale for $500. And a gem in slab. This is a low pop of only two. Up next, we got a pretty awesome sticker lot here. This is a 1980 Terabusi Marvel Superheroes. You get a 30 sticker lot in raw condition. And it's sold as a fixed price sale for 90 bucks. So about three bucks per sticker. You got Spider-Man, Captain America, Thor, Conan the Barbarian, Iron Man, Vision, Black Panther, Black Widow. A PSA 6 copy of that Black Panther sold for $80 back in May. So I think 90 bucks for these. That's a, probably a pretty good pickup. From 1993 Sonic the Hedgehog. We have the Sonic Pointing Up Prism Grade Mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $180. It's a pop of only 6 in a mint slab and there's only one higher graded gem in 10. From 1880 H602 US Presidents, we have the John Quincy Adams with a blank back graded to PSA 6. It was a fixed price sale for $80. That's a pop of 3 in a PSA 6 slab and there's only 6 graded higher with the highest being 4 near mint mint PSA 8s. This exact card sold for $26 back in August of 2018. But even still, 80 bucks for a 142 year old card. That's pretty awesome. From 1952 Watford Film Stars, we have Abbott and Costello graded in mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $398. It's a pop of only four in a mint slab, and there's two higher graded gem in 10s. From 1923, Edward Ringer and Big Cinema Star Series 50. We have a Charlie Chaplin graded near mint mint PSA 8. That was a fixed price sale for $350. It's a pop of 9 in a PSA 8 slab and there's two higher graded mint 9s. From 1992 Tops in Living Color. We have the Fly Girls with Jennifer Lopez graded a mint plus SGC 9.5. And it was a fixed price sale for $400. That was a pop 1. In a 9.5 slab, there's none graded higher. There's only been three of these graded with SGC. And over at PSA, there's only been two graded. There's a near mint mint PSA 8 and a mint 9. So this is between SGC and PSA. This is the highest copy out there. From 1980 Star Wars Burger King, we have Yoda graded a gem mint PSA 10. It was a fixed price sale for $499. In a gem mint slab, it's a low pop of only 9. And this exact card sold for $330 in May of this year, May of 2022. So that's a pretty big increase, $330 to almost $500. From 1975 Planet of the Apes, we have astronaut Peter Burke, graded in near mint mint PSA 8, and it was a fixed price sale for $35. That's a pop of 25 in a PSA 8 slab. There's six graded higher, with the highest being four mint nines, a low pop. From 1989 Topps Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we have four card lot here. You get all four turtles. You got Michelangelo, Leonardo, Dantello, and Raphael, all graded mint PSA 9s. It was a fixed price sale for $138. So two of these, the Leonardo and the Raphael, are from the Complete Collector's Edition, which was a special factory set. And then the other two were regular version pack pulled, I guess. Michelangelo, that's a pop of 19 in the mint slab. There's only six higher gem mint copies. The Donatello, that's a pop of 21. There's only five higher gem mints. And then with the complete collector's edition ones, Leonardo, it's a pop two with none graded higher. So that's the highest one graded. And the Raphael is a pop one with one higher gem mint 10. So definitely a lot lower pops on those factory set ones. From 1988 Comic Images, we have a Marvel Wolverine Trivia card. This is Ready, graded a mint PSA 9. It was a fixed price sale for $35. That's a pop of 3 in a mint slab, and there are none graded higher. From 1977 Star Wars Tokyo Queen Red, we have an Imprisoned Princess Leia card, graded a PSA 5, and it sold at auction for $95. It's a pop one in a PSA 5 slab, and there's only three graded higher, with the highest being one mint nine. 
from 1989 Tops Nintendo. We have the Mario I Love video game sticker graded gem in PSA 10. And the sticker sold at auction for $129.49. And a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 17. From 1966 Tops Rap Patrol Ring, we have the complete 22 card set or 22 ring card set. All graded by PSA, ranging from 3s to 7s. And it was a fixed price sale for $650, so just under $30 per card. P uh, PSA 6s of these, some of these have sold for around $60 to $70 this year. So probably a pretty good buy. Some of these are the highest graded out there, or pretty close to it. The 63rd Division ones, a pop 3 and a near mint 7. And there's only two higher 8s. The 2nd Division ring... The Pop 1 has a PSA 6, and there's only one higher near mint 7. The 17th Airborne is a Pop 2 PSA 6, and there's only one higher 7. Uh, the 187th Airborne Regiment is the highest graded. It's a Pop of only two near mint 7s. So, considering that some of those 6s have sold for around 60 to 70 bucks, I'd say that was probably a pretty good buy. From 1982, we have a Pac Man vending sticker graded. BGS 6.5 and it was a fixed price sale for $25. No pop report on this sticker though. When I typed in the certification number it did come up correctly however it didn't show a pop report. From 1992 Tops Batman Returns we have Introducing Catwoman with Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman graded gem in PSA 10. It was a fixed price sale for $90. And a gem in slab, this card is a pop of only three. From 1995, Sports Time Baywatch. We have Pamela Anderson graded near mint mint PSA 8. That was a fixed price sale for $199. And a PSA 8 slab, it's a pop of only two, and there are none graded higher. From 1933 to 40, Gaudi Indian Gum, we have Pocahontas graded an SGC 3 and it sold at auction for $50. That's a pop 10 and an SG3 slab. There's 20 graded higher with the highest being 4 near mint 7s. Over at the PSA camp, it's a pop uh, 16 and a PSA 3. And there are 146 graded higher with the highest being 2 PSA 8.5s. So a PSA 3 sold for around $47 last November, so pretty much on par with what this SGC 3 sold for. We're going to finish it up with a pretty awesome lot here. This is a 1955-56 Topps Hocus Focus photo albums, and you get two albums. Not complete, 245 magic photos between the two albums. And the complete set is 126 times 2, so you'd be 252, so you are missing a few here. But not too many. That's almost two complete sets. That's uh, assuming there's not a lot of doubles. And sold at auction for $1,275.99. So that's just over $5.20 per card. There's a lot of different series in this set. If you look at the checklist here, there's a Movie Stars Series of 45. Baseball Hall of Fame Series of 19. Aviation Pioneer Series of 9. Famous Landmarks Series of 9. American Inventors Series of 8, American Military Leader Series of 10, American Explorers Series of 2, Basketball Thrills Series of 5, Football Thrills Series of 5, Figures of the Wild West Series of 7, General Sports Series of 7, Boxing Champion Series of 24, that's awesome, All-American Basketball Series of 6, All-American Football Series of 13, Wrestling Champion Series of 25, Track and Field Champion Series of 17. Stars of the Stage and Screen Series of 22. I wonder how that's different than the movie stars. American Dog Series of 17. General Sports Series of 2. Wow, that is quite the non-sport and sport collection there. So there's Babe Ruth in this, Lou Gehrig, Jack Dempsey, Joe Lewis, George Patton, Douglas MacArthur, Amelia Earhart, uh, the Wright Brothers. You got the Sphinx, you got the Washington Monument, you got the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You have Sitting Bull, General Custer, Jesse James, Geronimo, Buffalo Bill, Cody, Billy the Kid, and tons and tons more. Quite an interesting set. Alright, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, 
We have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.